Hello, you guys. Let's see if I can get a good light for you. Hmm. I don't know how to go live anymore, but enable flash. Let's see. Did I do this right? There we go. I figured out how to work that. Um, the lighting. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have this kind of vintage Barbie camper. I mean, if you guys don't see this, this is just uh, filming for me. You guys, it's just been an issue on this phone lately so I will be doing live streams probably from now on so if you catch them hopefully you do I don't know so we're gonna be taking a look at this vintage Barbie camper from this is the country camper from 1971 I think I have the Malibu Barbie right here for demonstration just because she's from that uh, act, uh, decade this is a, a red swimsuit Malibu Barbie you guys if you know who this is if you've had her in the past this is the red swimsuit and she's wearing a reproduction um Malibu Barbie swimsuit so we're going to be taking a look at this really cool barbie uh country camper I f i'm figuring out things as i'm going along you guys okay so let's take a look at this camper so first of all you can see that it does have some issues okay we're going to be uh, blowing things up for you guys they do have some writing on here um i i had just attempted to wipe it down somewhat to get it um to get the markings off i just basically like wiped it down like yesterday when i got it in this came all the way from uh, Canada, you guys. So, um, this is a very, very old camper. It's made, it's made just like the Barbie, uh, cases that used to be years ago. Remember the, uh, cases that you used to keep your Barbie dolls in? It's made just like that. It has the cardboard inside and, um, plastic lining on the outside. So, um, I think somebody said they wanted to see the, um, the, uh, tent assembly. So, we're going to show you all of that. So, Let's take a good look at this, and we're gonna go live. Um, hopefully, you guys are watching, and if you're not, you know, you'll be, I'll upload this, and you'll be able to see the whole thing. So, so this slides off. That's the first thing that happens. Now, I did not get all the accessories. The only thing that it is missing is the um, actual uh, two sleeping bags. So, and you guys will not be able to comment on this video. So, I do have a community tab thing up. So, you guys will be able to leave comments in that section of the channel. Go to the community tab post. You'll see the picture of the camper or a commercial. And you guys will be able to leave comments over there. So, this comes off right here. And it's a sliding door, which is really cool. And it comes completely off. So, you have access, play access, and all that stuff. This is the inside of the camper. It's very vintage and very cool. And again, I did wipe all of this down. Um, it does have some markings on here, which I'm probably going to have to take a magic eraser and get all this off. It's very difficult to find this camper in particular in good condition. So just keep that in mind. Um, here's the two chairs that it did come with. Um, these two little fold-out chairs. So, so cute. And um, Barbie could sit on them right there. And it's, I mean, it's a cute chair. It's, it fits a Malibu Barbie very well. I think it's really, really cute. Um, it's adorable. And it's supposed to come with two sleeping bags additionally, which it did not come with, which are relatively cheap on eBay. They're not too expensive. They come with two fold-out chairs and two sleeping bags. That's the only thing it does come with. So it's not missing very much. This came all the way from Canada, you guys, by the way. So very, very cute fold-out chairs. Um, we're going to do a 360 on this in a minute. Um, so this is the play area right here. Let me see if I can get a, um inside view of the camper itself. So let's see if I can get a good close-up. So this is the inside of the camper. You have a um, kitchen and a little back wall. There's the tent right there. And it's just a basic play area, you guys. So that's the inside of the camper. Um, let's give it a good turn for you guys so that way you could see everything. So this is this side of the camper right here. We're going to go around. And we're going to fix everything as we're going around. So this is the um, other side. This folds down and they have a little cute little picnic table of what they would call it in the commercial. This was the picnic table that they said was a picnic table. You could sit your dolls there. They can eat right here, which is really, really cute. I think this is an adorable set. Um, and it does fold back up for easy storage, you guys. And this clips up right here. This is a this is this camper is in very very good condition. I was very very surprised when I received it. I just tried to look for the best one possible, basically. All right, so let's turn this thing around. This is the tent, okay? Now this this camper is not in the best condition. So <clears throat> so let's uh, take a look at this. Now, when I did receive it, you guys, the wheels did fall off, which is doing right now. Let's see if we can snap that back into place because this came off just now. As I said before, this is, this is a very, very old camper and it's not in the best condition. 
So let's uh, snap the wheels back on for you guys. So this is the tent right here, okay? We're gonna assemble this tent just for you guys. So uh, it's two poles right here. It's basically, and they have these like little wedge things right here. And this is supposed to clip in here right here. So um, let's take a look at this. And um, what it does is you're supposed to like fold it in like this and um, it goes like this and you fold it in and it does like this, okay? And this clips on right here. This is how you, you know, keep it in position, you guys. So after you fold it all in, you didn't even see that. So let's see. Let's try to do it again so you guys can see. I don't want you guys to not miss anything. But um, this is a very, very old camper. So I'm trying to be as gentle as I possibly can with it. Okay, so this is what you do. You take the poles that you can't really see. <laughs> um, This is the poles right here. This is why I film the video is pretty quiet so not doing live okay so you see how it's like a uh, like a box you just kind of fold it in like this and you make it flat and then you basically flip it under and then you store it like that so that's how you kind of store it and then this goes right here it does come out you guys it's not hard to put pull, pull out i guess you could say i don't know I'm not a new professional youtuber so if you come here for a professional video good luck um, so this uh, closes like that and you can actually store it away. So let's take a look at how you actually assemble it. So, and say you're just getting it right here and, um, let's see, we could pull this out right here and it does kind of, um, unhinge from the bottom so you can actually, you know, undo it if you choose to, because it just kind of slides in right there. There's no advanced technology or some stuff like that. Um, so let's assemble this tent. Now the tent comes out like this. I kind of think that if they would make something like this, this would be so cool. Now these little uh, pegs right here, these have to actually go inside of this uh, white part of the of the um, thing. So let's let's show you how that goes. <clears throat> so all you got to do is you put the um, tent down like this, and you want to clip them in the slots right here. They have these little like slots, and this is where you would assemble the tent. So the, the tent pieces have to fit right there on both sides and they just kind of slide in. There's no advanced technology with this. It just basically slides in on both sides and you can see, hopefully, once I get everything arranged, that you can actually put your Barbies in here, which is really, really cool. Okay, I'm gonna um, slide this down, you know, and everything slides out like so. And you have this cute little tent. Um, there's the there's the bottom of the tent. You know, it's just basically a cute little tent. And you can actually you know adjust it to your liking. Um, and it's basically basically it just fits right there. It's really really cute. I think it's a cute little uh, fold out tent. It's very old, you guys. And I am struggling, of course, as I always am. Um, but it's a cute little set, though. I think I don't know. I don't know why this thing just went dark. I mean, let me see what happened. I don't like I don't like uh, filming live videos. Why did it say disable flash? Oh, let me, I just turned it off. Enable flash. Okay, there we go. I don't know. So um, it does fit. It's a basic tent, it, and it just kind of like I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but it's a big, big tent, you guys. Very, very nice, and it's vinyl, which is really, really cool. I think it's a great tent to have. Um, so it's it's a very, very old set, you guys. Let me kind of paint this up. That way you could see. But it does fit. You know, your Barbies actually lay in the inside of the camper and it kind of extends out. I'll show you that in a minute. So, I mean, that's the basic uh, tent assembly. There's nothing to it. You just have to basically clip these in and just make sure that all of these little nodules right here, they have these little notches right here. Just make sure that they're in there on both sides, you guys, okay? So make sure that your Barbie dolls do not fall. You have to have these little notches done on both sides. They fit just like that. And they should have a little extension bar. That way, you know, they, the thing just won't collapse. It probably will, though, because it's an old uh, tent. So, just saying. All right, so let's take a look at the front of the trailer. Uh, if you guys missed anything, it will be uploaded to YouTube. So, don't worry. I'm not going to not upload this to YouTube. So, let's uh, disassemble the tent. You want to just kind of fold the two legs in right here and it folds under and then it goes like this and then you kind of close it and then it goes like this and somewhat closes by the way this thing came all the way from canada if you guys didn't know it did so it took a minute to get here and this is the front of the windshield right here it's very very cool 
Um, it's adorable. And most of the time, all of this stuff's broken, so it's very hard to find one that's in good condition, you guys. So this is the uh, uh, little window thing right here. It comes up like that. That way you have easy access to put your Barbies in and out. They have no doors on here. They have artificial doors. So you, this is the way that you actually put the Barbie dolls in, which is really, really cool. I think it's adorable. Let me know if you've had this set too when you were little. But it is very, very cute. And it's just very, very old. I'm just being very, very careful with it. Things are falling out of place and position. And then what you would do on this side, see... There's the tent now inside of there, and that's how it's stored in there. And what you would basically do is just lay your dolls this way, and the tent, you know, the tent would be out that way, I guess you could say. Let me kind of lay it down against it so you guys could see it. So I want you guys to have the best view possible if, if, if I could help it. So um, you take the tent down like this, and it's very, very difficult to move, I find, in my opinion. It's like, I think because it's an old trailer, I guess you could say, you would take it. And you would set up your little tent with the little pegs and you would uh, peg it on the bottom like so, like I showed you before. And basically, this would be stuck in the mud or whatever. And um, we're going to slide this around. And this is how your Barbie dolls would sleep. Let's take a look at it. So your Barbie dolls would sleep in the tent just like that. And they would sleep this way in this direction. This is how they would sleep with this kind of um, tent accessory i guess you could say it's really really cute in the inside isn't it um it's very very adorable this is where the chairs go right here if you guys are curious this is storage for the chairs and the only thing it is missing you guys is the two um vinyl sleeping bags it's not missing very much of this uh set you guys it's a really really cute set but it's not miss missing very much it's very hard to find stuff that's in good condition you can see it's fading and cracking on the bottom it is a very very old set you guys and this just slides on and off like so. So let's take a look at this. And just like that, it slides. It's no big deal, no advanced technology. It just slides on and off. So you could kind of have it halfway open, halfway closed. And you guys, it is made out of that cardboard stuff from that we know from when we was younger, that, that, that Barbie case. If you guys can... Stop it, Louie. The Barbie case that, that used to be years ago, the snap closures, it's closures, it's made just like that. There's no advanced technology. It's just, there's the doors right there. So the doors are completely like solid shut. There's no like way you can open this. And the only way is that window in the front to get your Barbie dolls in and out. So there's no really um, functioning way, I guess you could say. And it's a really, really cute set, you guys. It's adorable, okay? This is rubber bands right here. Rubber bands are supposed to attach from here to here and that's how you're supposed to lace on the um sleeping bags like the two vinyl ones and again this could be like a porch playset like you could have like a barbecue up here with your two um the things they could have like a little rooftop party with a little barbecue pit that would be so cute and i'm and again you guys i will be collecting this the only thing that's really wrong with this set is the wheels do fall off in the front. They're not snapping in like they're supposed to. They have some decorations from on the side that a child had, has decided to write on the side. What else is wrong with it? Um, just, and it's missing the, uh, the sleeping bags, you guys, but it, this is this was an elastic band band originally, so there's nothing that, that's missing right there. It's just a little elastic band situation happening right there. It is a really, really cute camper. Um, the wheels don't really turn too well in the back, you guys. And this came from uh, Canada. So there's no difference, I find, between the Canadian version and the American version. They're all the same, maybe different designs as far as the tin is concerned. But I know that they, are, they do have, you guys, different designs as far as the tent is concerned. I know that they are. There's this, like, checkered pattern design, I think you could say. And um, it's a really, really cute set, you guys. It's a very, very nice camper set. It is cute. It's called the Barbie Country Camper. I bought it from eBay. It's very, very cute. I would recommend you get it if you can find one in good condition. And again, you guys, most of these sets are like disheveled, really, really in bad condition because this thing is made out of cardboard, basically. It's cardboard and covered over with plastic, which is something that they did back in the day and they still do today. Them Barbie cases that are made today, the ones that stop closed, are made out of the same thing that they did years ago. So, I don't know. Now, Malibu Barbie cannot 
fully stand in this vehicle. So when you have a Barbie doll, Malibu Barbie is from this time, and she cannot fully stand in this vehicle. As, as you can see, she is taller. So when they had the commercial, you know how to have the doll just sticking her head out or whatever. And it's just not, I mean, the dolls cannot stand fully in the vehicle. And just in case you guys were curious, like they have in the commercial, they have the, uh, the kid just like going out of their way, you know, whatever. The Barbie dolls cannot stand fully in the vehicle. They have to be leaned over to get kitchen access. Um, they have to be like, they could actually sit, which is really cute. So if you have your Barbie dolls and they just like chilling, they could just sit right there, which is really cute. Um, they do have in, indoor seating, which is nice. They have places for things, you guys. I do plan on getting the vinyl, um, the vinyl sleeping bags eventually, you guys. So it's going to be a building process, and I will be cleaning up, cleaning up more, just getting it spick and span, just making sure everything is great. So it will be getting everything really nice eventually, you guys. And if you didn't see the full video, it will be uploaded. So just FYI. So this is not a professional review. This is just a very average person doing a review now the wheels right here need to be clean because they are not moving whatsoever they're in a frozen position um i don't know what i'm gonna do about that but um i'm just gonna kind of clean it to the best of my abilities and put it on display i really really do love this country country camper i loved it ever since i've seen the uh, commercials on youtube you guys let me know in the uh, community tab which i do have up what you guys think about this camper. And if you got any questions, any comments, you guys, you can leave them in the community tab. I had the community tab with the commercial, with the camper. That's where you leave your um, comments um, in that section. So let me know what you guys think about this video. And just remember to like and subscribe. And you'll see more doll videos. Bye.